Hiring's getting harder. I know it's like raining outside and you're looking at your app and it says it's raining outside. You're like, I already know that. But why is it getting so much harder? And I think one bad news in all of this is this is the easiest it's going to get. Okay, it, it's going to get harder from here. If you look at economic projections, and we had an economist come to ADSO, the birth rates are dropping. The generational changes to, I mean, let's talk about that one for a minute because, you know, as I talk to some of the deans at these dental schools, one of the things they're noticing in students is their mental load is so high that their ability to consume information has gone down. Their expectations for life, they're moving up Maslow's hierarchy, right? So we have so much wealth in our country that what's happening naturally is people are asking themselves the next question. Yeah, but why should I work for you? Why should I work with you? What's the mission you're trying to create? How much time and energy do I want to give to this versus other things? They're asking much deeper questions, but it makes it much more challenging. And frankly, at times we get frustrated and we're like, I don't know, just work a lot, you know? But that's not going to, it's not going to gel with the next generation. No, and, and uh, let's just be honest about where this came from. It was coming whether you liked it or not. We just had a pandemic that pushed it over the tipping point, mm -hmm. right? Like, let's be really honest about, about how difficult it is to actually operate as a team member inside some of our businesses. We don't just ask a little bit of people, we ask a lot, and we're not asking less of them, we're asking more, right? And the other thing is that we set poor examples because how many of you have burned yourself like uh, until there's absolutely nothing left, right? Not, we're not talking, 40 hours is like entry level for a lot of people inside this, in this room. We're talking 80 and 100 hours. And you know what? We set similar expectations of that type of, quote, sacrifice from our team members, but they're not vested. And as we go through the generational shift, this generation doesn't want to play daddy's game of staying in the same spot and grinding it out until they're done every single day. They said, listen, I'm going to show you with my feet that I desire a different experience for my career. So it was coming one way or the other. I think what happened inside of the pandemic is we just pushed that tipping point right over the edge and it hit like a ton of bricks. But you know what, Emmett? Um, I also want to challenge that there's a lot of hope inside of that because what they were telling us was that we weren't really doing a great job. Like, honestly, that we needed to do something different inside of our energy or our industry in order to cater to their new energy, right? And so what a great benefit. Like, for every negative, there's going to be a positive. I was just thinking, like, are we going to look back and go, man, remember the millennials? That was so much easier, you know? <laughs> so. All right, so hiring's going to get harder, which means we're just going to have to upgrade internally on a lot of the cultural components. And where do we go there? Um, what, anything else on that? I think training resources, knowing what we're doing and why, and that's why DEO has pivoted so hard. And you heard from Jake, like, please attend the trainings because your team needs to see that you have systems and processes. So the more that we can provide that to you yep. and you have that clarity to bring to the team, the longer they'll stay. Well, uh, so relative the, the to the effort training, mentally needs to go down for them and make things easier. Right? For 20 or 30 or 40 years, we were trained that we could acquire the skilled personnel that we needed off the shelf. We just went over to the shelf. We pulled the person with the skill set and the degree and the license that we needed, and we put them into our business. We now have a problem because they left the industry, right? And as we know, there is now a gap. We, it's going to take years for us to train the hygienists into a place that what's the number? Like 5,000 hygienists that left the dental industry? Might be more than that. Might, might, that, that might be just your business alone, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but as these people left the industry, it's going to take years for us to train them back in. So where is the training gap going to come from? It's right here. It's all of us. It means that we're now going to have to take on the responsibility. And to your point, we recognize that as a DEO that you need support in helping you to take these um, right fit cultural people and give them the skill sets they need to be able to excel in our space.